All right, so we're gonna do some extra side quests. And also, the uh, that is in your door room sounds really nice. But seriously, that was a fucking clutch ass bone tail fight. I cannot believe that, honestly. And Zeppi sent me Yuka fan art to celebrate. <laughs> Anyways, we gotta go back to Far Outpost. Because we gotta go finish that guy's trouble. Because I went down to the 50th floor of the pit just to get rid of that guy's stupid graffiti. Yuka is amazing. So, you erased my graffiti, Shapaf? Yes! You erased it, Shasloom. I'm so grateful to you. But it is not like I confirm whether you actually erased or not, Shabu. Oh well, I guess I'll just trust you, Shakrakity. Take this reward. Zesty made it for me when I told her how much I was missing the snow, Shafoom. Snow Bunny! I'm going to start trying to fulfill my own wish now. But you cannot tell anyone what it is, Shafoom. Promise you, Shakroom. You solve the trouble. Yuka Booba, yes. Yes, you get Shark Yuka Yuka Booba. What else could I be missing anyway? I'm trying to think of what else I can do. Like besides the troubles, I don't know. Allow yourself a quiet moment to study your surroundings. You might discover things like thin gaps to slip through. On that note, if you spot any cracks in walls or surfaces, leave them to me. Why is Bobbery... Why is Bobbery saying that? Is there a crack that I missed or something? What? <laughs> why did he say... Why is he saying that? I just like to hide sometimes, so check behind objects to explore. And I find goodies, even star pieces. Why are you guys saying that shit? I already got everything. He's missing. Oh yeah, while I'm here, let's buy Super Luigi 5! There we go. Do I get a trophy for that too? <laughs> Do I get a trophy for buying all Luigi's books? Luigi's missing. Mario's missing. So we have a few more troubles we can do. We have help me make up. I gotta fight with my mom and I need you to help me make up with her. I'll be waiting near the Sanctum in Poshley Heights. Wanna take on Bub's trouble? Yep. See, there's, a, there's like three post-game troubles that you can do, and I'm gonna do them. And then I guess we're gonna go talk to people around the world and just chat and all that. We I mean, have chatted to everybody in Rogueport, Far Outpost, Petalburg, maybe. I think I did, yeah. Still confused about what the missing, uh... Catalogs are. So what is this? There's an enemy here. And then there's an enemy at the very end. Like, what is this? I don't know. Bone Tail. The oldest sister of Hooktail. She's just bones now. She's incredibly tough. Maybe even the toughest. Hold on, I need to see I need to see the Bone Tail Mario Wiki page now. Hmm. This is really fucking weird. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that is weird. Along with Sir Grotus and the Shadow Queen's first phase, Bone Tail cannot be defeated in a single turn using Mario only and only with his non FP attack strength by power rush badges. Is that true? Hmm. 
Um, apparently, if you return to the hundredth floor of the pit, you fight Wacka. What? Wait, so I have to do the pit again? The fuck? I need to see the title log in this game, dude. What is the missing enemy? No, wait, I actually have to go to the pit of, like, a fucking second time? That's weird. Hmm. Can I have the one from the remake? Hmm. Oh, we got Prince Mush. Yeah, that's there. Oh, it's so weird. The title log is made up of, like, the, the title log on the Mario Wiki is, like, so weird now. Because now there's, like... Now there's shit from, um... Hmm. How do I say it? There's, like, shit from the remake, and most of it is just the original. Yeah, that is really weird. <laughs> oh, yes. My favorite title entry. Professor Frankly. See the Paper Mario Bestiary. Can I have the one from TTYD? No. What are the- I was trying to figure out what are the new enemies in the remake? There's- there's- I know Wacko's an enemy, but what the fuck is the other one? I honestly don't know. I- I gotta look this up. Okay, so you'll never guess what I just found out. <laughs> I figured out what the missing tattle is. And honestly, I won't lie, it's kind of clever, actually. I'm gonna... Well, first, let's do Bub's Trouble, and then I'll show it off after. I rang for you, mister. See, I got in a fight with my mom, and I want to make it up to her. So I wrote her a letter, and I want to give her a present. But I don't know what to get. I've narrowed it down to three things, so you can help me decide. Um, let's get a Kill Mango. You really think Kill Mango's the way to go? I do. You got great taste, I'm sure it'll go over well. You also have to go find the Kill Mango and bring it here. Because, you know, they don't sell those things here. Thankfully, Kill Mango is probably the easiest one to get out of those, out of those three, so that's why I did it. Not sure why Fright Mask is on there, but, you know, I won't judge. Anyways, I'm gonna have to get some more Life Shrooms now. <laughs> oh, the Toad Sisters are here. We are the Traveling Sisters 3. The water is so cold. Oh, but it feels so good. You got- I, you know, let's talk to everybody here while I'm here. Oh, how about you, Captain? You seen me saving the world each time I turn around. I always knew you'd do great stuff, and that's what I gotta say. That's really something. I'm a full-time Barbary fad now, I'll tell you that much. I recently visited the Glitz Pit in Glitzville. It was absolutely incredible. You can check it out sometime, don't joke. I'm getting sick of this island life. I'm a sailor born and bred. I heard the seas calling me. Oh yeah, well there's the Battle Master right there. Is it true that they're gonna put up a bigger resort here? I'm completely opposed. Yeah, sure, I'll hear something funny. Jose ripoff. <laughs> you think we can get the pirate curse to curse the developers? That might do it. So it turns out we actually have to engage in combat with this guy. <laughs> I was at a coffee shop and I was playing TTYD and I was letting some kiddos watch you play. They said the yucks reminds me of fidget spinners. Wow. And I thought fidget spinners were out of style. Alright. Alright, let's begin. So you want to guess what the missing tattle entry is? <laughs> it's the go- it's this thing. The goom board. 
Oh, that was... What the fuck? Why is it using unsimplify? Why are my unsimplifiers disabled? That's a goom board. It's a Goomba drawn on a board. I think the mayor ma master made this. He's surprisingly talented. It's unclear what his max HP is. No attack or defense either. This thing is sturdy though. It won't break no matter how, how hard you hit. So don't hold anything back. Yeah, that's the fucking missing tattle entry. I never would have guessed to tattle that thing. So that's the missing ta that's the missing tattle entry I have. So weird. So that's the tenth that's the tenth entry. This goom board was handmade by the Battlemaster for training purposes. It's so sturdy, not even Bowser could splinter it. At least not on the first try. So, there's one tattle left, and unfortunately, we have to go all the way to the bottom of the pit to get it. We already did the pit, so now I have to go down the pit a second time. So now this game is doing fucking, um, what's it called? It's doing the, uh, fucking flop side pit of 100 trials thing, where you have to go down the pit twice. Good lord. So there goes another two hours of time, but I don't think I'm going to record that. I don't think I'm going to record me going down the pit again, because that's just stupid. But I am curious what a whack a boss fight is going to be like, and how is it going to differ from the ones we've seen in Pro Mode and Master Quest. Did you bring Kill Manga for my mom? Yes! Yahoo! Kill Mango! Thanks, mister. I'll just attach this letter, and we're done. But I'm afraid to give it to her, so she may still be mad. Can you give it to her and come back, please? You got a present. The thing Bub asked you to deliver. I wonder if she'll like it. What will I do if she gets mad? No, I'm a little nervous. Hmm. Interesting dialogue there. And also, um, there's a guy that was asking me for help on adding new music in the Smash Ultimate, and honestly, I don't really know what to tell him. He keeps having problems and his song isn't playing correctly in-game, and I really wish I could help, but I don't know what the solution is. Why, oh, hello, Gonzalez. Do you need something? From little Bob, you say? Why, there's a letter. Let me just read it. Dear lovely mama, I'm sorry I didn't do my homework. From now on, I'll do my homework and try to be a good bob -um like Papa. And I will give you good food and a nice house. And a pretty hat. So please don't hate me, from Bob. Oh, I'm just going to break down and cry here. Oh, how delightful. Oh, Gonzalez, don't mind my tears. They are joyful ones. I just want you to tell Bub something for me. Tell him I'm not angry. I was just being stern because I love him and care about his future. I never meant to hurt his little feelings by it. And I'm sorry I lost sight of that. Gonzalez, please bring my little Bub back to me now. I'm just so very touched. Please tell Bub how I feel. She was Bob and the missus had a little row, hmm? It's hard, it's hard when they get to be that rebellious age, you know, dear boy. Okay, and, and Vivian's just telling me generic stuff. Well, I appreciate chat member for telling me about that funny story about the fidget spinner yuxes. Hey, mister, how was it? Did you like the present? Fuck you! He's not mad anymore? Yahoo! Whoa! So thanks to you, mister. You're the person I checked most. After my dad. And, as a reward, I'll give you my entire fortune. Not that I have many coins, though. 
<laughs> you got three coins! Mom! You solved the trouble. If I remember correctly, in the original version of the game, it, it doesn't play the sad song, it plays the, um... Actually, maybe I'll go check on it. It plays the, uh, song that plays when you free the punies. And when you free, um... Hoopley, I believe. That's a weird- that's a strange change. Little Bob didn't get a thing for his birthday. They'll just have to double up on gifts for next year. No, wait. We'll spend 20 times as much. Dad yeah, says he's, he, there's no train set store here. I wonder where we can get one. Can you believe there are no train sets for sale in this horrid place? I suppose I'll just have to build a train set store to sell me one for my son. Well, I guess since we're here in Posh's Heights, we'll talk to everybody. Well, hello there, you svelte sleek plum of a man, you. You're a ravishing dear. <laughs> That's all she has to say, I guess. What else can I do here? Any of you got- you penguins have anything new to say? I think these penguins don't get update dialogue. That might be new, I don't know. Yeah, there have been few tourists, so things are really quiet, eh? I was thinking about opening a souvenir shop, but maybe it was right to wait, sure. Is, um... Is there anybody in the hotel? Nope. Where did Dupree end up going to? Makes me wonder. Bonk. You know, what? I'm gonna go bonk everybody. I should probably—I probably should have been doing that. Bonk, 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 bonk. There you go. I got—I got, everybody got bonked. Nobody's safe from the bonking. Well, you know, let's go say hi to Pankton. Alright, let's just say hi to Pangton, because he's probably enjoying his time. Just generic dialogue now. Luigi, uh, no. Rather, I mean, Mario. How are you, dear boy? Bonk. He actually said my name! Oh, I think that's everything in Poshley Heights now. I think I did everything in Poshley Heights. Um, Kilo Hollow Key. Um, Twilight Town I could go back to, I guess. Hmm, I'm actually sure, not sure what the last trouble is all about. I'm kind of confused on that, but no big deal. And at some point, yes, we will read Luigi's books. So yeah, it turns out to get the last tattle, we have to go to the bottom of the pit and fight Wacka. Alright, rouse these cads. I really want to see the great tree, but there are many cads in the way. Won't someone please rouse these ne'er-do-wells? I am waiting in Bodily Woods near the great tree. Oh yeah, there's like a really weird, um... There's a really weird post-game trouble.
I need to get the tattle log. Tattle log's just missing one entry now. Hey, let's go to chapter two then, I guess. Wait, hang on. Where did she say she was at? I'm waiting in Bodley Woods near the Great Tree. Okay. Let's go. I, mean, I might as well go into the Great Tree and say hi. Where is she? Oh, she. That's the Battle Master. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go into the Great Tree anyways. I'm gonna... I'm gonna talk to you, buddy. I'm gonna the Great Tree. Oh, that little Peter, he's always so darn swishy-washy. More scolding from the world's loudest grandma. If I'm not mistaken, there's like a fuck ton of punies you can talk to in here. Teeny is a collection of many egg veal eggs. I wonder if she found them all. I want eggs too. Yeah, it's too bad you have to play their, her stupid game every time you want one. It sounds, it sounds so HD. Ain't there, like, punies everywhere? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe not. Bushes. I can interact with these bushes too. I find it interesting that it plays this song and not the other one. They changed that too. There is some way you can use this cage without getting locked in. I don't feel like using my voice changer today, so just gonna do that. Oh my god, you can interact with the boxes! See, now that's a great detail. The box- the treasure chests feel so stiff in the original. But, they fixed that in the remake. down here. Oh, there, yeah, there are opinions down here. Being wrapped in a layer of bowls is so soothing. The stress just fades away. All my stress. Oh, why, Petunia? Why not me? Why not me? You say I'm like all the other opinions, which breaks my heart. Even if it's, you know, true. This bubble pool is incredible. I bet even you could float, Mario. Yeah, that's fun. I love doing that in the original. I completely forgot about that little detail. Well, we gotta say hi to everybody in the in the great tree then. Anyway, it feels so populated in here anyway. Oh, plant! There's plant gang still in here. I won't take shit from nobody. I kind of forgot there were enemies down here, to be honest. God damn it! I took off Spike Shield, so I'm running away from this. Okay, nope, okay, nope, okay, nope. I'm 10 star points away from a level up, too. <laughs> so, if I th in theory, if I did 10 battles... Yeah, here's everybody. I just encountered some jabbies a little bit ago, and they all said hi. Guess they aren't all bad. Keep it down. Oh, it's Mr. Mustache. The jabbies are up ahead. They haven't built a force in a while, and they've been calm, which is ominous. Bonk. 
I'm sorry we were used by those outsiders. We've learned from our mistake. That's what he looks like he wants to say. Yikes, it's Mario. Don't pick on me. Oh, I'm so busy, so busy. Life isn't easy for us jabbies, no sir. Oh, the broken hive is still here. Damn. That tiny pink top puny girl is so cute. That's what he looks like he wants to say. Where'd the jab- where'd Jabbo go? Did he sneak back to the shop? I wanna punch that one puny bully right in his paunch. That's a jabby. And that's all you need to know, smart guy. <laughs> do 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 do. They really didn't feel like writing dialogue for Goombella on each jabby. They said, yep, that's a jabby. You get it. I mean, to be honest, who would care to write half of these post-game tattles? The game's already fucking over. Who cares? That's peanut part of the peonies. This guy just needs to stop whining and do its right. That's a puny. Look, I already told you, I can tell them apart except for Puny and his friends. Alright, anybody down here? <laughs> Having a door that leads to wherever you want could be super convenient. And I already have the sweetest name for it too. Yeah, I'd call it... Oh, forget I said that. It's a great name. I'm not telling anybody about it yet. Squishy, 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 squishy. <laughs> I'm trying to quench my urge to squish the squishy orb by making a song about it. Even singing about squishing feels so good. If that's wrong, I don't know want to be right. No, oh, dearest Petuni, if the world were to end, I would share my deepest feelings. But if the world doesn't end, I'll keep them to myself, thank you very much. I made a jabby baby here earlier, and the little guy gave me a mushroom. But I wonder if that mushroom was now. Never mind, he wouldn't. This shop doesn't stand out at all, so business is pretty darn poor. But I guess Pungent's just doing it as a hobby, whatever makes you happy. Come back anytime, bud. Is he is he not back there? Where'd Jabble go? Is he not back here? Huh, weird. You'd think he'd be in there, but I guess not. Burp, burp, burp. Sounds nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't go anywhere. I love the little footstep noises, they're great. There is got some nice ambience. If there's one thing they really fucking did a great job at in this game, it's the ambience, man. I don't know how they did it. But it sure is great, I tell you that. I how fun it is to come through here. Still not sure what this thing's all about. This down arrow. Gabby's up ahead. I want to go deeper in that tree. They can't be that tough. Burp, burp, burp. I'm a bully? You know that guy, Lord Crump, who fooled us. His feet just reeked like you read about. 
Mario, what do you do for a living anyway? Is there any money in Princess Saving? I want to talk to that puny with the spots, but how? Everybody is hitting on Petunia, what the fuck? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What should I play today? Or maybe it's like Butthead. <laughs> nope. Is there anything in here? Imagine if there was like a secret puny hidden under here. I don't want to deal with you, mate. I think that's everything in the in the great tree. Pretty sure, anyway. I mean, yeah, there's like that area where the x knots take you to the uh, great tree, like, depths or whatever you call it. I'm not actually like, dealing with that place, though. What the fuck? You weren't there earlier. Well, if you guys aren't too hard to get rid of, I'll... I, I never mind, I don't have multi-bonk on. Or multi-bounce, multi-bounce. Why is the meter so damn, like, far to the left? I, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing else in the Great Tree, so... Yeah. Alright, well, guess we're leaving. I gotta go talk to- I gotta do that last trouble anyways. And then, you know, what we could do, I guess, is we could read up about, um... We could read Super Luigi, how about that? Where is this? Where is Doty, anyway? I think he's like over here or something. If I remember correctly. Yeah, here. Urgh. Oh, it's a guy. It's a guy. Why do I think it was a girl? I don't know. Take care of those goons already, eh? Marvelous! I can finally see the great tree. I'm in your debt, sir. It isn't much, but I hope this will do you for your troubles. It's my change from lunch. Perhaps I'll see you up ahead. Oh, wow. Th that was it. That was the trouble. I didn't even see the dude. I just killed the enemies. <laughs> Do I get something for doing all the troubles? I don't know, actually. Guess we'll find out, right? Yeah, I don't think there's any more troubles in the game. Oh, here he is. That's Doty, the toad who asked for help. I just like how you finally got to see this place, you know? Ah, the great tree! As you watch us foolishly continue to repeat history, what could you think of us? You could do nothing but stand and watch our ignorance. No, what rot! To assume that a tree could do nothing, that only proves my own foolishness. Just a random toad. Which, surprisingly, there's not a lot of generic toads in this game. Most of them are, like, spread out throughout the world and everything. Anyway, then there's only, like, maybe a couple toads per town. So, 
I think all that's left to do would be to maybe do the... I never did play the tube game or the boat game. I could look at those. That could be a good idea. All requests completed! Yeah! Wait. Oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, can you redo Troubles? We haven't had any Troubles coming lately. Maybe you solved all the world's Troubles already. I suppose it's good, but it's terrible for business. <laughs> well, yep, all side quests completed now. So now what? Okay, here's what I'm. T here's what I think we'll do. Um, we're gonna go play. We're gonna play the tube game, as well as the boat game, and then we'll read the Luigi books. I think that sounds like a good idea. I have all badges. I almost have all the tattles. The sound gallery. I think this is the only thing I'm missing. I didn't think. Wacka was in the pit, though. That's kind of weird. <laughs> but other than that, that's every song in the game I almost have unlocked. What the fuck is the Wacka song gonna be, then? Like, I can't even tell what it's gonna be. Alright, let's sell this stuff. Don't need all this. Honestly, I don't need this many inky sauces. Don't need Electro Pop. I don't need the Dizzy Dial. Don't need the Fright Mask. Uh, okay, well. Withdraw. You know, I think I could take I could take out a whack a bump. And a poison mushroom. Hmm? HP drain could be good. Situational. I'm gonna buy a fuck ton of life shrooms because I have the money for it now. We have talked to pretty much everybody at this point. Alright, let's play the tube game. I don't know what this- I don't remember the tube or boat game. I just remember them being shit. The faster you reach the goal, the more pint- Beyond this you'll earn. Roll with caution. If you don't finish the race in a minute and a half, you'll get a game over. I have to actually buy Piantas first. <laughs> Let's just get 50. There we go. Alright, tube game. I guess we'll see. I don't remember. I don't remember anything about these two. So let's see how the tube game goes. Hopefully it's good, I don't know. Oh, this isn't actually that bad. Yeah, how come I forgot about this? This is fun. We gotta, like, be careful here. Oh, there's platforming! I didn't know that. Music's damn good, though, I tell you what.
That was fun. How come I don't remember that? Fell minus ten. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I forgot about how good this one was. I can do that faster then. Let's just focus on doing it as fast as possible then. So if you fall, you lose you lose Piantas, so you don't want that. Is the map the same every time, I wonder? So theoretically, you could memorize this shit. And get max Piantas every time. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Forty-six. I did like ten seconds better that time. Wow. That's a pretty easy way to get Piantas, honestly. Does that, does that mean the boat one's even better? <laughs> Why'd I think the plain one was the best one? Oh, oops. Well, I didn't think I'd fall through that tiny little crack. Now everything's gonna be all off sync and shit. Yeah, lame. Honestly, the only reason this one's fun is because they made the tube fun to control in this game. Yeah, I got a pretty bad time on that one. You know, I'll do that one more time, because this is actually kind of fun. You still get a profit for winning, you know? So this is probably like the best way to grind Piantas, not gonna lie. Well, it's not the best way if you get stuck like that. Oh, now it's down there? What the fuck? They changed it? Uh, wasn't fast enough. So if you can, uh... If you can, like, get a good enough time here... Or what am I trying to say? Okay, no, we are definitely not winning this time. Bro. <laughs> I fell way too many times there. It's gonna be like the worst penalty of all time. Fell three times. Nine Piantas. Nope. Not doing that again. That one is pretty fun, though, and you can do it pretty quickly. Alright, let's do the boat game. The boat game. In this game, you become a boat and dodge obstacles as you sail to the finish. You'll sail forward automatically, but you can lower your speed by tilting the left stick in the opposite direction. The current speed will speed up during the second lap, so steer carefully. Let's we'll see how the fun this one is. Mafia boss. Alright, let's see how this one is.
Oh, you can mash to get out. Cool. Very dodge heavy game here. Eh, that one's kind of mid, honestly. Wait, it's still going, that's right. This one takes the longest out of all of them. This one's taking like 50 seconds, mate. Longer than that, a minute. I can see why I didn't play this one very much. <laughs> That one isn't that fun. <laughs> barrel bumps. Oh, that you get you get docked for bumping into barrels. Yeah, that one's probably the least fun out of all of the games. All right. Well, um, another thing I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna go buy some life shrooms. We're gonna buy more than three this time because I actually ran out. I mean, I'll buy like six. Should be good enough, right? <laughs> yep, there we go. Anything else I should take out of storage? Let's take out um the shroom roast and the um take out my point swap and my shroom cake. How many shot points did I get by the end of the game? 89. Well, I mean, that's something, I guess. Oh, I'm so glad you can sort items, too. So we have six life shrooms. This should be better than three. <laughs> Feels so surreal that I'm gonna 100% TTYD. Feels pretty great, actually. Alright. Also, I noticed that Toadsworth isn't here anymore. He's gone. <laughs> he just pisses off after the game's over. Kind of interesting. Alright. Time to save. Alright, guys. It is story time. We're at, let's go somewhere cozy and let's read Luigi's fucking books. You know, we'll read it right next to him. How about that? Alright. I might need some, like, cozy music that I can play in the background while I read this. Mario, wake up. We gotta read. All right, it's time to read with Linguini. Here goes. Here goes, guys. Super Luigi. Have you experienced the time when no matter how hard you tried, you failed, and the time you spent felt wasted? If you ever feel such pangs of regret, try to remember this tale the story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Super Luigi, Volume 1, The Quest Begins. The day dawned like any other, but little did Luigi know the letter he was about to receive would forever change his destiny. Sir Luigi, danger besets us on all sides, and we beg your help. The foul chestnut king has stolen our beloved princess. The letter was from Minister Krep of the Waffle Kingdom, 
a man aware of Luigi's many adventures. He knew only Luigi could save them. Charged with his dire task, Luigi wasted no time curtailing the heroic meal he was making. Then he packed for his deadly journey. Knowing that his older, his older though less talented brother was out on a no doubt inconsequential errand, Luigi took a moment to leave a note. Mix a keel mango with a peachy peach to whip up a fruit parfait. These cryptic words were all Luigi wrote before leaving. Well, another recipe they just casually wrote to you. Upon reaching the Waffle Kingdom, Luigi was greeted by pure misery, an endless flow of tears over the kidnapping of Prince Eclair. Arriving at the castle, Luigi was greeted by Minister Krep, who carefully handed him a compass for space with only one intact section. Our land once had a special treasure, the Marvelous Compass. Find its seven parts and find the Claire. So it began. Super Luigi Volume 2 Allies in Adventure It's a little warm, Luigi muttered, the sweat dripping from his brow as he followed the compass up Rumble Bump Volcano's side. Must find the secret grotto. While Luigi had guts to spare, he did need a guide, and he found one in Bluey, a blooper he met in town. Brave Bluey joined Luigi and instantly proved to be invaluable. With his aid, Luigi blasted a savage statue that protected the treasure. The treasure was none other than a piece of the Marvelous Compass, a piece that pointed west to Plump Valley Village. The second Luigi saw the Plump Valley Village, he knew something was amiss. All was woe and Luigi soon learned the reason why from the mayor. The town was at the mercy of a sinister serpent who demanded sacrificial lasses. Burning with indignation, Luigi formed a team of liberators. A fierce Baba warrior named Jerry joined his crew and chose, not surprisingly, to stick with Luigi for the duration of his quest for Eclair. Fortified by his allies, Luigi strode on into the lair of a beast, foul two-headed snake. No time to think, Luigi sprang forth. Twin heads snapped at his, fa at his heels, fangs stripping venom, and as one mouth gaped wide to swallow Luigi, the other crept behind. Our hero sensed the treachery and fainted before leaping. The heads collided, and the beast ate itself. The prize? A compass piece. The villagers begged their savior to stay with them, but a grim-faced Luigi pressed bravely onward. Super Luigi Volume 3 The Voice of a Princess Dauntless Luigi's next test came in the form of a cart race on Circuit Break Island, where he won both the contest and a compass piece. The race was fraught with danger, but Luigi pressed through adversity, adversity to win. All villager, oh, all villagers, all viewers were awed by Luigi's revolutionary racing style. The mechanic who built Luigi's racing machine, a buzzy beetle named Torque, was so stunned by Luigi's race techniques that he joined them. Reinvigorated, Luigi set sail to Jazafras Town, where he made his stage debut. Daisy, a noted Daisy producer, gave Luigi a key role. Playing the part of an earth spirit to pure perfection, Luigi stole the show. Hazy's faith in Luigi's natural acting talents were awarded. The performance won a prize, which yielded another compass piece. Hazy turned from teacher to pupil, joining Luigi on his quest. It was at this time that Luigi's heart, usually dra draped in the cool comfort of a hero's resolve, began to warm with thoughts of Princess Eclair. This came to be because every time the magic compass pointed into a new place, her gentle wars rang in his ears, touching him to his very soul. The voice spoke of eternity, of stars in the heavens. It wept for those blind to love. It gave comfort in the face of fear and loneliness. Though he'd never seen her, our hero was tormented by visions of his of this fair-hearted maiden. All he could do was press onward. The compass pointed towards rapturous ruins. Only two parts of the compass awaited, and Eclair had one. Super Luigi Volume 4, The Shards of Truth Footsore and wary, Luigi finally found the rapturous ruins beyond Grimble Forest. Within them, time and space were lost in nothingness. Within the pale emptiness, Luigi found a young sleeping boy. Our hero called out gently, and the youth woke from his long, long slumber. My name is Cranberry, and I've waited for you for the, for the last thousand years. The boy went on to tell Luigi the secret's truths, 
The Secret Truths of an Ancient Land. He said that the marvelous compass had been created by the ancient Luf people, who used its powers of foretelling to rule the world. But the Luf Empire was then cursed by the compass and fell into ruin. The survivors dismantled the compass and hid its pieces. Cranberry was the last of the ancient race. His role was to wait until one with noble heart came to take the burden of the future. None but Luigi could have shouldered the weight. The boy gave him the compass piece and said, Fear the curse, but find your eclair. Luigi accepted the part. The boy's words burned into his brain. His duty fulfilled. The boy began to fade into blank nothingness. As he faded from sight, a look of joy lit Cranberry's face. As Luigi gaped, both the boy and the ruins vanished, leaving our hero in a dark wood. With six of the parts united, the compass now pointed to the final part, to the quest's end, to Aint Song Tower. And then her voice spoke. Princess Eclair's voice begged to help from the void, pleading for our hero. Luigi's heart burst aflame. Super Luigi Volume 5, Journey's End. At long last, Luigi crossed the threshold of the Hate Song Tower. Luigi rallied his allies. We'll defeat the Chestnut, Chestnut King. We must. Friends by his side, Luigi at last faced the fell Chestnut King. But then he heard a voice, and spun to see the fair Princess Eclair. She told our hero the painful truth. The evil Chestnut King was actually made, was actually her true love, made monstrous by Krep in a bid for the throne. At that moment, the villainous Krep appeared. The, the marvelous compass, please, hand it over. The, Lo the Loof Empire will rule again. Maha! Luigi and Co. were no match for the might of Krep, their true enemy. But then, the compass piece in Eclair's tiara shone forth. It bestowed the future sight on Luigi, knowing Krep's every move. He smote the fiend with his mallet, and with that, it was all finally over. Luigi and his friends parted, leaving the Waffle Kingdom in peace. But Luigi regretted not gazing into the future. He longed to see the Wafflers gathering on Princess Eclair's wedding day. He wanted to see her beauty and who stood at her side, but it was not to be. Luigi went back to his humble home which remained exactly as he left it, a cold comfort for his heavy heart. Taking up a book he had been reading, Luigi tried to read, but his long trial had snapped his strength and he soon fell asleep. Luigi dreamt his, of his friends and his beloved Princess Eclair, and sleeping, Luigi spoke, I shall return. Wow. That was actually pretty nice. I don't think I I don't think I've ever read all of that in quite that amount of detail before. But there you go, guys. That was uh the Lu the Super Luigi books. They actually didn't take as long as I thought to read, but hey, it's it's still fun, you know. We have everything we could possibly need. So we have um you know, we're level 30, we got 69 BP, 40 FP, we're about to level up soon. We have 2,000 coins. Um, we have all the badges we could ever want. The only thing that's left is to go to the bottom of the pit. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the bottom of the pit again. And we're going to fight Wacka. I have no idea how this is going to go. But, since I don't feel like uh, making... I don't want to make you guys watch me go down to the go down the pit again. I'll probably just do it off screen. And then we'll fight Wacka. So, yeah. It's crazy to think this is how the series is going to end. On me fighting Wacka of all things. That's so weird. I mean, I might, I'm, there might be something I need to do first. I'm not going to go down, I, there's one thing I'm going to do before I go down to the pit. I'm going to get all of the whack -a bumps real quick. Because I have a, I have a bad feeling that if I don't do this, he won't show up at the bottom of the pit. Although, you know, I guess we could double check that, right? Let's see, um, Wacka. 
Let's see. Um. Let's see. Uh. Where we? Where we go? Uh. T T Y D. Um. In the in the in no such remake, Whack Up Heroes is a post-game boss. He replaces Bone Tail as the Pit of 100 Trials final boss on repeat trips after the game's completed. Um, let's see. After Wacka is attacked, Wacka Bone will appear, which will appear in a horde. Um, let's see. Let's see. Apparently, um, I don't think I need to actually do this. I don't actually need to, like, it doesn't say you have to kill Wacka, but, you know, maybe I'll do it anyways. For fun. <laughs> Let's do it. And also, I'm kind of curious if there's anything out here anyway. Bonk. Direct hit! I mean, I can't carry... Wait, I can carry whack a -mole. I have two spots left in my inventory. Also, is there anything in here now? This guy- this guy is still here. Huh, wow. This guy's still here. I was wondering where that guy was. Turns out he's just hiding out in here. This is the deepest part of the pirate's grotto. Okay, Bobbery's just saying generic text now. Alright, well. I'm curious to see how this whack of boss fight's gonna go, though. I have no idea what to expect. I'm gonna keep hitting Wacka, though, so I can get him to despawn. I mean, yeah, Wacka is cute and all, but we must defeat Wacka. I'm kind of curious if Wacka pierces or not. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, right? Is there any other way I can hit Wacka? Tossing that. But if I keep if I keep bullying Wacka enough, he'll despawn for good. I mean, I don't care about the Wacka bombs anyway. What about Bobbery? <laughs> Explosive. All right, Mario's gonna keep beating up Wacka. I do like this old music, though. It never gets old. Truly, all the Paper Mario music is timeless, though. <laughs> Waku! I think that's. I think that's the last one. Also, I forgot. Uh, there's something I forgot to do. Every time we talk to Wacka, he like his dialogue gets like more fucked up. Yep, he's gone. We got rid of Wacka. Let's go. I mean, eventually he'll start saying the things like I don't remember who you are, and like he'll start getting like memory loss and shit. It's kind of kind of fucked up, honestly. But yeah. 
Well, now I know for sure he'll show up at the bottom of the pit, so... Let's go. Alright. To the Thousand Year Door we go. Well, you know what we gotta do. And I guess I'll save just to be on the safe side. healed up so yeah all right well wait what the fuck what's what's you what are you doing here a mover i know things about getting through this dungeon i especially deal like you take you straight to level 50 oh my god i can go straight to level 50 that's fucking sick okay well <laughs> i guess i'll see you guys at floor 100 then all right we're gonna we're gonna go fight wacka then Dude, I can go straight to level 50. That's fucking sick. It skips all the boring shit. I don't care about spending 300 for that. Let's go. Alright, hello. We are near the end of the pit. Thankfully, it wasn't that bad. Because of all the, um... It wasn't that bad because... I only had to go through 50 floors compared to the usual amount. So, thank god for that. Unfortunately, I burned through a lot of life shrooms, which really sucks. I made a lot of really stupid and reckless mistakes coming down here. So I went from three life- I went from six life shrooms to three life shrooms. So I have the same amount that I did when I came here the first time. And also, unfortunately, I gotta level up before the final boss, which really fucking stinks, but... What can you do, I guess? I'm gonna go with one more BP level up. So we're gonna end on a weird number. We're gonna end on 78, I guess. Man, I don't want to- 45 FP would be really weird to end on, so I'm not doing that, that's for sure. So yeah, anyways, let's take off Nostalgic Tunes, let's take off, um... I think- maybe a quick change could be nice. Fun badge. Uh, take off Spike Shield and Ice Power. Take off Flower Finder. Flower's Favor P would be good, yeah, keep that. We have lucky day, pretty looking close call on again. We can go with the funny luck strats. Um, I might take off a P down, P up, D down, to be honest. Just because I apparently whack it does 10 damage. Put on all or nothing instead. And I don't need quake. I might use power bounce, maybe. Hmm. But I mean, other than that, there's not really a lot I can wear. You know, not a lot of funny badges. Funny badges. So, yeah. Put on PFB down P instead. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I guess Happy Flower. Alright. Well, supposedly, you fight Wacka on the 100th floor, so... We'll see how this goes. Is Wacka gonna have, like, some, like, death metal music, I wonder? Hmm. This is the lowest level in the Pit of 100 Trials. The Zonified Dragon named Bone Tail used to protect this room. Yeah. Hmm. And there's supposed to, I thought there's supposed to be a boss here. Wow. 
Hello? Where's the boss? Don't tell me I did all that for nothing. Where's the where's the boss? Where's the boss at? What the fuck? Dude. There was no boss there. What? How do you fight Wacko then? What the fuck did I do wrong? Huh? Oh my god, I don't have fucking time for this. I might have to pause- I might have to end the stream and figure it out tomorrow morning, honestly. Jeez. Okay, so apparently, you're supposed to get an email about it. You're supposed to get an email... ...about the, um... You're supposed to get an email about it. And I haven't gotten it that- I haven't gotten that yet. So how, how do I unlock this email, then? I don't get it. Well, either way, I leveled up a few times. And I got a few life shrooms. So... I'm not sure. I'll go, I'll go stock up on life shrooms again, though, because I... I made so many stupid mistakes there. That's weird, though. I did all of that for fucking nothing, man. Honestly, what I might do... Oh, now I get it. Wow. Now I get it after I go through the fucking pit again. God damn it. <sighs> Impromptu special. What lies in the pit of one of your trials? Fabled creatures spotted. Early this morning, Radio C port the mysterious creatures taking up residence deep within the Pit of Wonder Trials, already rumored to be the lair of an evil dragon. According to eyewitness that spotted it, part of it looked like a certain creature said to be extinct. We call upon our, each, our readers to send in any additional information you might have, should you encounter it. Twenty brave readers that wish to test their skills in the Pit of Wonder Trials, careful preparations a bust. Nor editorial department will be cheering you on. For any good little children who might be reading this, the pit of one of your child is very dangerous. Don't go near it. But if you do, don't mention this newsletter. Well, honestly, I am quite honest. I'm quite honestly not in the mood to um, continue playing tonight. But I'll probably tack this on to the next episode. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching TTYD Remake. Actually, you know what? No. Uh, scrap that. Scrap that. Um, you know what? Uh, when I count to five, you will see me at the bottom of the pit again. Okay? So five, four, three, two, one. <sniffs> well, there is one last thing I would like to do before I go fight Wacka. And I know it's kind of a cop-out. It's kind of a cop-out, I know, but it's gonna make my next adventure into the pit a lot easier. We're gonna talk to Chat Rippo. With 39 coins, who needs some adjustment? Let's adjust Mario's stats. I'm gonna raise my BP to 81 now. And I'll lower my HP to 5. I'll boost your BP, but that means they're using your HP. Does that sound good for 39 coins? Boogity boogity bee. Booga 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 boo. Lippity skippity scoo. Hey ya! Hmm, I'm thinking. Look at him go. Ooh. Fuck you. I'm finished. Need more adjusting? Well, come again. Now we're in permanent danger mode. 
Because why the hell not? Oh, you know what I find interesting? Mario's not actually, like, doing his danger animation. Kinda interesting, eh? Wait, I need to test something. Am I actually gonna be in danger now? Let's find out. Whoa, wait a minute. Why are the da danger strats are not working? Now what? Hold up. Oh, I still have the lucky badges on. Wait a minute. How much damage do I do? Wait, oh, wait. Dude, I just realized then. Wanna oh, attack me, Goomba? Okay, I guess don't attack me. So I'm, t I'm, I'm technically in danger, but I'm also not in danger. That's really confusing. Thanks, Merly. Yeah, fuck you! So they acknowledge danger strats or something? Weird. That is really fucking weird. Anyways, off screen, I um bought Power Rush. A power a second power rush. To make my pit that my journey down the pit a lot easier. Because I kept I kept dying to swampires, because those fuckers have way too much health. So yeah. And I also stocked up on life shrooms again. So now we have lots. We have lots of life shrooms. Okay. Anyways. I'll meet you guys down at the bottom of the pit for real this time. Alright guys, here we are at floor 99 of the pit again. <laughs> so, as you can see, I still have 5 HP. I still decided to have this much. Why the hell not, right? And, uh, we're about to fight the super boss of the pit. For real this time. Because I got the email. And I don't see any other reason why I wouldn't get it. Also, I got two more level ups. Thanks to me getting the, the loadout with the two amazing daisies twice. So, yeah, and I have way too much BP to use. I have no idea what I'm going to use with this. I'm probably going to put on quick change, because I can. I was gonna put on return postage. And, um. Hmm. What else should I. You know, we put on Lucky Day. There you go. Um. Another thing I might do. Just to make this, you know, manage it. Just to make this, like, a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna put on HP. Plus. And we're gonna take off multi bounce and put on, uh. Power Bounce. Or, we could do something funny and put on Tornado Jump instead. Tornado Jump and Hammer Throw. There we go. Just for the TT- Just for the Paper Mario 64 reference, you know? Anyways, if I'm not mistaken, this should actually be the Wacka boss fight. So, here we go. There he is! That's a rare wacka! I don't think you see any more of his kind, nope. You wacka wacka, they drop a wacka bump. You can either eat those or sell them for a high price. You did hear me when I said these critters are rare, right? Just checking, because that means you should not whack them. You do understand that, right, Mario? Whack you! I'm wacka! You sure traveled a long way to see me! It's kind of cramped and dark down here, but it's also super quiet. Such a relaxing getaway spot, who? Black who? So that's why you're here. You want to play with me? In that case, let's play, ba bam <laughs> I 
Yeah, I fucking knew he was gonna have some crazy rock music. <laughs> Alright, here's Wacka. That's a Wacka. They're pretty rare, but you can also find them hiding in Keel Hall Key. He's got a max HP of 108, an attack of 10, and a defense of 1. I never expected running one of these guys all the way down here. When he's attacked, he'll drop a whack -a bum. Then he'll lose that bump for a powerful attack of his own. Sometimes we should try to use as few attacks as possible in keeping him and from dropping those whack -a bumps. Seriously, I never expected to fight a whack -a. It's so hard to tell what they're thinking. I think it's really scary when he's mad, but I do hope we don't find out. Wacka theme. <laughs> okay, this is probably one of my worst power lifts in a while. Dude, I got two poison mushrooms. I still got plus four and plus three. Alright, let's see what he does. <laughs> yep, so that's that that's Wacka's attack. And of course, he's immune to statuses, which makes sense. All right, hammer throw time. Fourteen. So if I'm not mistaken, that's a um, healing wacka. I also have a wacka bump of my own. All right, tornado jump time. I don't know what my buttons are. Yeah, so he's gonna heal. Basically gets back up to full health. Luckies in a row. So the more, the more, um, oh shit, burning him is actually a bad idea. Every time you hit him, it spawns a whack a bump. You know what? Then let's have a, let's have some fun with this fight. You know, what? I want, I want to, I want to see him do more of them. So let's actually spin jump on him. There you go. Tornado jump for the shits and giggles. <laughs> Woo! Didn't do anything, but that's okay. It's funny. Oh my god! <laughs> 27, 27 damage. He's almost dead already, that's kind of too bad. I was having fun with this fight. Um, you know what, let's just do Shield Stopper, because I have never done it before, and I want to show this move off. If I can remember the damn buttons... It did, it, it, it actually damaged him. Yeah, let me try that again, but this time I'm gonna slip, I'm gonna flip my, uh... I'm gonna flip my controller. <laughs> Yeah, suddenly now I understand how to do it. Okay, never mind, I don't. <laughs> yeah, but it spawns more whack a bumps. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, hey, look, it's, um, it's one of those things that confuse you.
Yeah, let's make more whack a bumps. This is gonna be fun. Watch this shit. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Woohoo! He hasn't been healing very much. I still have four more. I still have four more things to mess around with. There's not really a whole lot I can mess around with. Okay, well, let's try and appeal then. Hello! What the fuck? <laughs> He's trying to summon more Wackabumps. <laughs> the shy guy is even helping him out. What the hell? It's so funny. I love this fight. I'm gonna mess around with it some more. Yeet. Well, I can't super guard it, apparently. Alright, Wack, I think that's enough messing around. I thought I honestly thought he was gonna heal more, but I guess he doesn't. Alright, here we go. Yeah! Merle coming in with the clutch! We ended on a nice 64 star points. We get our final level up of the game. We get to end it on 90 BP, let's go! That's a really nice number to end the game on, honestly. Wacko! Yes, I lost, but that was fun. Hope to see you again sometime. And for doing that, you get the golden Wacka Bump. A shiny Wacka Bump obtained from Wacka. It sadly cannot be eaten. Have a look at that. So now we got the gold whack a bump, the cooking trophy, the badge trophy, Prince Mush's belt, the strange sack, all these bragging right key items. And with that, we have also 100%ed the tattle log. There's Wacka. A mysterious creature from parts unknown who now resides in the depths below Rogueport. He'll drop whack a bumps when he's attacked and use them to retaliate. After all those whacks to his noggin, this popular target's finally whacking back. <laughs> and we also get the last... Wait. Oh, these are the GameCube songs. Yeah, Bonetail doesn't have a song. Yeah, all of these are, uh, new. Good stuff, though. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, so we have the whack -a boss theme, finally. It was about as great as I was expecting it to be.
Now I should get a I should get a, like a congratulatory thing now. Congrats, you tireless tattle you tireless tattler. Congratulations, you've had Goombella tattle on every kind of enemy. Your tattlelog is now bursting with villainous secrets and juicy bad guy gossip. As proof of your efforts, we sent you a special award, the Tattle Trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself. Congrats, you comprehensive collector. Congratulations, you've collected all the recipes, obtained every badge, and filled up your entire tattlelog. Wow. Head on to Rogueport's main square. A shiny reward is waiting for you. Ooh, okay. Now we have the Tattle Trophy, too. We have three different trophies. Hey, let's go back to Rogueport Square, then. Oh man, this feels so surreal. I'm playing TTYD Remake while Mario's doing the gritty, while the OG GameCube music is playing. And I fought whack on 100% of the game. That's so fucking weird. That's so weird to me, I don't know why it's like that. There's a special NPC in Rogueport now. Oh my god. It's in the middle of the noose. We've gathered a lot of info. If you ever need a refresher, you can study on our journal by pressing plus. I mean, we're basically done. Alright, here it is. The gold medal badge makes Mario look shiny and golden. Gold Mario! This is better than the- this is like... There we go! I'm shiny now! I can imagine- this would be pretty fun for pit runs, just wearing the gold medal. I'm doing a pit run that way. Mario is shiny. Mario can do the shiny gritty now. The shiny gritty. Alright. There's one thing that I'm gonna regret doing if I don't. I got I forgot to talk to all the people in chapter 4. And chapter 3, I think, as well. So, yeah. I mean, if these guys have anything new to say. I actually think all these guys are saying the same shit. You know, you can get through anything if you have good memories to clean too. But the problem is, not all memories are good. What do you think about things you want to forget? Hey, you dump those somehow? Hey, listen to my new song! Love that sleeper bell, and pale moonlight as well. Highlight, cherry is swell. We used to use the bell at Creepy Steeple as our clock. The bell isn't wrong since that piggy nightmare ended. Ah, you, uh, you Mario are here. Yahoo for you, Mario. Be awesome someone said that about you, huh? Yeah. Oh, hey, it's the Save Our Town. It's Mario. You want to call the guard? But don't think we've forgotten about you. You guys don't actually have any new dialogue. Crazy. Well, my, my question is, what are we going to do with all these tw with these 2,600 coins, dude? That's what, I, that's what I'm wondering. I don't know. There's nothing for me to do with all that money. And yeah, I've basically finished everything. Well, yeah, I have finished everything. I've gone every title, every badge, every recipe, everything. There's nothing left for me to do in this game. I've 100 percented it as far as I'm concerned. I mean, yeah, there's sure there's a few other little things I could do, like buy 
infinite power rush badges or get those coins in the Exonaut Fortress. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I know what I can do. First, I can check the Lucky Lottery and lose horribly. <laughs> One last lucky lottery, I guess. I could also talk to Lala and get some juicy gossip about her. Sure, I could do that. Oh my! You want? You got a high score in one of the mini games? Okay, one more about me. Hmm. My sister Pika works in the shop next door, and we get along really well. We go shopping together on our days off. Malls, markets, estate sales. We'll produce, we'll produce wares anywheres. Pika just likes jewelry and bags and things, but those don't interest me at all. I guess maybe I could use a little more flair in my outfits, though. Okay, that's enough. Maybe I'll tell you more if you get another high score. You get another high score? Hmm. I really love sweets, so I ask Zesty to bake stuff all the time. And I love nothing better than nice sweet cake. Sometimes with business slow, I make it look like we're closed and sneak in a little cake break. Hey, that close thing's a secret. Seriously, don't tell Pika. The other day, a customer named Arfra asked me out to dinner, but I said no. I mean, I don't even know him, right? Still, I wonder if he really likes me. I just don't get it, though. What could he like about me? I mean, really. How embarrassing. More about me, hmm? My dream is to have my own place someday. I just want to be surrounded by cakes and cute stuff all the time. And I get I get all the people I like to hang out there. It'd be so great. So I gotta work hard now to make my dream come true. But I kinda like wearing these kitty ears, too. <laughs> yeah, that's all for now. I'm feeling bashful, and there are no more high scores to send you after. I hope you're not spending all your time trying to talk to little me, Mario. Because I'm sure there are other things you're slowly doing, right? No! There's nothing left to do. Adventuring is hard. Sometimes you need to take a break and relax, and maybe even play a few games. Yeah, play a different game besides TTYD Remake. Like, seriously, man. Well, there is one la there is one last thing I can do in this game. And I guess it's not that bad that I saved it for last. We're gonna go check on Tech. EEC. Cause yeah, we can go back. We can go back to the X Not Fortress, man. It's the last thing I can do in this game before I call it a call it a series, you know. Oh my god, it's so nice to hear this music again. I forget which one is the right elevator. Sub level four. Mario. I am pleased that I can see you again. I detonate explosives after you left to ensure the base could no longer be used for evil. Of course, I was destroyed in the resulting explosion. But one day I regained consciousness, and all was as well before. Yes, everything. I do not comprehend why, but... As I regained consciousness, I saw a light, and I thought I heard Peach's voice. How is Princess Peach? If she is happy, then I too am happy. I continue to hope for the continued happiness of you, Peach, and all others. Yep, so... Push! That's a cool little detail. Push! Mario, you might be the first person to play a crane game on the moon. Thanks for making this possible, TEC. This is the computer room. This must be where Princess Peach met with TEC.
Well, that's the last thing I can think of to do in this game is talk to TEC again. And besides that, I guess there is there's the bathroom. Can Mario take a bath? I could take a bath. Yes. Woo. Could take a dump. Mario can't pick. Mario can- you can stand on this in the sink. That's amazing. I wish I could hide in the locker. Oh my god, I can! I can hide in the locker! It's Metal Gear Solid 2. I'm just finding other- I'm just finding things to amuse myself with. That's literally it. Well, guys, I really legitimately think that is everything to do in this game. I can't- I don't think there's literally anything else to do. I mean, yeah, I guess I could tattle every room or something. You know, go back to all the boss rooms and tattle those. But that's about the only interesting thing I can think of doing. But... Nah, I will make you guys sit through that. There's definitely a few things that I missed throughout my playthrough. Some dialogue, some miscellaneous animations, all that kind of stuff. There's lots of stuff I still could show off, technically. But they're so minute that they honestly don't really matter that much. Um... I'm just wondering, where would be a good place to save and end my game? Hmm. I don't know. Well, you know what, actually? Before I forget. I want to test out return postage real quick. Let's try out, let's try out return postage. That's the last thing I'll test out. Hello! Alright, attack me. Come at me, bro. Yeah, it works. Alright, do it again. Don't attack Umbella, bro. Come on. Wow, wow, wow. Gonna keep waving. The gold texturing does look pretty nice, though, I gotta admit. You killed yourself. And that's what that's a turn postage. Oh, we dropped a close call! That's an awesome thing to end off the game on. <laughs> Getting a close call from a spiky Goomba, dude. Let's go. Alright, yeah, yeah, shut up, Bobbery. You know what? This save spot's been pretty iconic for me in the past. So, I think I'm gonna end it here. So thank you guys so much for my wonderful Let's Play of Paper Mario TTYD Remake. This game was so much fun. And yes, I did know life this game for the past five days. But man, is it a really, really fun experience. I am really glad I got to experience this game again for the very first time. This is kind- this is like a once in a lifetime thing, man. I mean, I loved growing up with TTYD. And I remember always playing it and having fun with it. And playing this remake, it really feels like I'm playing the game for the very first time, being like five years old, you know? It's a wonderful feeling. And, you know, thanks to Nintendo for listening to us fans and giving us a remake of my favorite game of all time. So, I'm gonna be taking a break from <laughs> series for a little while. I do need to let all these videos go up because, 
I mean, what is my playtime anyway? I guess we'll check my final playtime as well. Also, do I get like a platinum on my on my save file or something now, or what? No, but 50 hours of playtime. I've, I've played this game for 50 hours. Seems pretty legit to me. Seems like a pretty legit time, pretty legit way to end the game off, honestly. And you can see that Mario's gold, so that's pretty legit too. Well, 50 hours of playtime, 100% of the game in 50 hours. Honestly, I could I couldn't think of a better way to end off the game with a nice flat number like that. But yeah, um, I'm not sure what my next series will be yet. In fact, I'm probably just gonna continue Tomodachi life sometime in June. Because I did, I kind of left that, I kind of left that on like a hang note. I didn't really get to finish Tomodachi Life. So, I'll probably continue that at some point. Uh, well, probably when June starts. So, keep an eye out for that, guys. And I'm finally, I'm finally done no life in T2ID. So, I can take a well-deserved break. Anyways, as always, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch, and I will see you guys in the next series. Take care.